Hello guys, today is usually cool to a Monday, but I don't have anything cool to show you. <laughs> I got something coming for next week, but I haven't got it yet. So we're going to continue with the combination wrench set series. Uh, we had a giveaway the other day, yesterday, and the winner was Roger Ice. He had to pick a uh, he had to pick something out of the six options I gave you. I haven't heard from Roger yet. Hopefully I do soon. It's Monday early in the morning. I suspect I'll hear from him today. And when I do hear from him, I'll announce what he picked. Okay. If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of tool reviews. Mostly middle of the road. Some low end and high end as well as long as car tech tips and repairs. And so far I've shown this series Craftsman's, Horesty, Duratex, Seda, Wen, Carlisle, Tecton, Olsa, SK, Genius, V-Series, Craftsman, Tony, Milwaukee, Gunmetal Craftsman, the long pattern, Steelman, six point buck, Gear Wrench, six point, and today we got Fackham. I have left to show you Tecton, I have left to show you uh, Capri, Capri, Icon, and Wright of the last three I got to show you. Jeez, how come we haven't showed those, Jeff? Because those were, those were in my toolbox. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a little, little sneak peek of which ones I really like, I guess, but. All right, getting off of that here, we got the uh, Factum 440s combination wrench set, 12 point box, 15 degree offset. Uh, that's a model number 440.JP14. They're around $103 on Amazon. I will give you the link in the description below. It is a 14 piece set, 724. It does skip 9, 20, and 23, which really doesn't bother me because you know, that's some of the bigger sizes other than the 9. Is it made in France? I don't know. I'm going to say it's made in Taiwan, but I'm not sure because the uh, the V-Series the Craftsman is made in Taiwan. It's basically the same wrench I'll show you in a minute. Let's pull it up, the cam up to the ca camera here. Fackham is in the house. Let's take a gander. This is a, I like these uh, sets, these uh, handles that come in here. It's got the little handle on the backside to, to pick it up if you want. The very, very nice case. They open up, that's how they open up. The ID markings are highly visible, 7, 8, obviously skips the 9, like I said. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, skips 20, goes to 22, skips 23, and goes to 24, respectively. I really like these cases. It's the same, basically it's the same case as the Craftsman. Other Craftsman is red and red, not black and red. I got 19 out already, I'll show you here. Here's the 19. And it's got the, the, the chrome on this is, uh, it reminds me of uh, silver speckled spray paint. Or metallic flake, you know. The ID markings are stamped. 440 Fackham, and you can see how it's uh, raised up, the name Fackham here. It looks pretty nice. This is the kind of finish I've seen in one other wrench before. I can't remember what wrench it was, but I have seen this finish before. There's all the little speckles on it. Let's take a look at, uh, look at the camphor. Here's the camphor on it. If we can get the focus here. There it goes. There's the camphor. Go to the back side. It's got zero camphor on that side. I do like the way these mount, the beam mounts to the box. That is, that's cool. And it gives you, it gives you uh, more of a, uh, uh, from not hitting obstructions, it gives you a little bit more leadway there. I do like that compared to a conventional wrench. You compare it to a conventional wrench and you can see it's totally different how it mounts on the box. And they are on a short side. I guess they do have the XLs. I don't know. I don't own the XLs. But these are on the short side. There is a regular Tecton 19 mil next to it. And you can see they are on the short side. Let's put, a, let's put it up next to a uh, V-Series Craftsman because someone's going to ask me that. I know that. And the first thing you notice is the chrome. The chrome is way different than the V-Series Craftsman. The V-Series Craftsman is a high polish. 
And again, that Thackham's got that speckled paint look, that speckled uh, metal flake look to it, which, I, well, I kind of like it. And the rest of the wrench looks pretty, it's pretty well. It looks the same. The I-beam's the same, almost the same uh, fonts almost, you know. They're both raised up. They're both raised up the same way. ID markings are in, the, are in the same spots. Let's put another side here. Other than this side, this side here, the Craftsman's is laser etched. I never cared for laser etching. We all know that wears off over time. Basically, it's the same wrench, though, if you look at it. Same wrench, same length, same everything other than the finish. They're the same wrench. I'm pretty, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna say they're made in Taiwan, but it did take me a while to get these, so I don't know, maybe it was France. Let me know what you guys think. Is it France or is it Taiwan? Someone's gonna know, right? Let's put a caliper on this. This is the meat and potatoes. Here's the open end. The open end is, doesn't have the anti-slip. It's a pretty good fit, guys. Let's put it on the box end part. These are a nice wrench. I'll tell you right now, these are a very, very nice wrench. Very good fit all the way around. Let's put a caliper on it. These could be used for professional. I don't see why not. They're on a short side. You probably would have a longer pattern as well if you were professional, I'm sure. Two point, that's two, uh, 0.20. 0 0.20, those are respectable readings all day long. 0.24, very good readings, at least Yes, not bad at all. Let's pull out a 13, 13 here. Why? Because I got a fastener. Here's the 13 up to the camera here. Again, it's got that speckled look. You can see it right there. It looks like metal flake. Again, the ID markers are stamped, uh, and the Fackham font is raised up. I do like that I beam. It's, it's uh, it might take you a while to get used to it if you don't have an I beam wrench or never used one. But it's a very very nice wrench. I bought these with my own money. These are brand new. It is an unboxing. I will do a follow up later if I decide to keep them. But something tells me I might give these away. I'm gonna be giving away a lot of wrench sets. There's that camphor. Everybody likes to see that. And the back side's got zero camphor. Let's put this on a fastener and see how this does. Very, very good fit. These are a well-designed wrench, no doubt. Not bad at all. Let's put this on a caliper. Make sure it's zero for you guys. Let's see what the 13's got to show us. 11, which is really tight, but that's the bottom. Let's go. It's going to get wider. 13. The 13 is very, very, very good readings. 13 is an awesome. That's an awesome. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, guys. Don't usually get too much better than that. We're going to pull out 10 here. They are on the short side. That's the one thing I don't like. I, I think if it was me, I'd, I'd buy the XLs. I won't. I got too many wrenches already, but there it is again. The I beam, ID markings again, and the raised Fackham brand. Let's look at the camphor. It's got a good amount of camphor there. Go to the back side, there's zero. Not bad at all. Let's see how this does. Typically, a 10 does pretty well on a caliper, but let's put it on the open end part first. Again, there is no anti-slip. That's snug as that's snug as a bug, guys. 10 typically, for some reason, even in the even in the cheaper brands, is, is a good good fit. Very good as well there. Let's put a caliper on a 10. 
make sure it's zeroed. Wow, 10, 11. 11, 12, very, very good readings. We'll pull one more out just to see the consistency. I always do that. I do not have a fastener for the 16. But we're bringing up the camera to show you. There's the back side. Zero camphor there. And then you go on to the other side. And there's the camphor on the business end. I love how that mounts. The beam mounts to the box. 12-point design. If I didn't already say that. Let's go to the open end part. And they got an angle there as well. Hmm. Let's put the... I, was, I don't have a fastener for this. <laughs> but let's put it on a caliper. My driveway is getting paved, guys. So I've been doing these early in the morning when I do do them. And that's why sometimes I haven't been making videos every day lately. Point 11. Wow. That's that's pretty solid, guys. Point 11. Let's go to the top. Point 14. These readings on this are some of the best so far I've seen. Are the other wrenches I've done? Well, um, they're in the top three for tolerances of all the 17 sets I've shown you so far. So they're a very good set. How would I rate them? Well, right across the board, anybody could use these. All the way down from a weekend warrior, all the way up to a professional, I don't see why not. So tomorrow we'll continue. I got three more sets to show you. I got the Capri, I think. What did I say? Capri, the right, and Icon are left in the series. And then we'll do a, a, a follow-up on all of them together. And then we're going to have a we're going to be giving away a lot of those wrenches. I'm not sure how many sets, but quite a few. I don't need 20 sets. I already got four of them. Of the 20 sets, I'm showing you three of them are already in my toolbox. I don't think I need more than that. Plus, I got the old Craftsman's up on the wall. But So a lot of those are going to be going, guys. All right. Okay, guys, I took enough of your time here today. Uh, have a good day, and uh, leave a comment below. Let me, let me know what you think about these bad boys. Take care.